There was a time when the border between Scotland and England was a wild and lawless place, when horsemen looted, burned and pillaged their way into history. These night riders were the border reavers and best known of all were the Armstrongs, the most dangerous and feared of all riding clans. The Armstrongs could put 3,000 men into the saddle and are reputed to have done more damage by foray than any other clan. It's easy to romanticise these border reavers, to make them out to be proud, independent horsemen who challenged authority, which is the picture we get from the ballads, but it's rather a one-sided glimpse into history. One ballad tells the story of Johnny Armstrong of Gilnocky, a particularly dashing and unruly bandit who made a mockery of royal authority. In 1529, King James V invited the Armstrongs to a conference, but when Johnny arrived with his usual band of 36 followers, he found himself surrounded by the king's much larger force. Johnny offered to make a deal, but he and his men were hung as an example. Another ballad hero, Kinman Willie, is remembered as the victim of treachery who escaped imprisonment in Carlisle Castle. But like all good bandits, Willie died in his bed, though we don't know where or when this happened. It's worth remembering these men were anything but heroic. They led an overwhelming force and destroyed wantonly. They preyed on easy targets, killed if they were resisted, and literally stripped their victims of everything they had with no thought of welfare other than their own. But you can't go around committing murder, burning houses and stealing cattle for 200 years without making enemies, and two things finish the reavers. With the border gone, they could no longer play one country against the other, and a policy of pacification brought them into line. Throughout the early 1600s, communities were displaced and hundreds of fortified houses were destroyed. Families were rounded up and dispatched to Ireland or they were scattered across England. Some men were encouraged to enlist to fight in the various Low Country Wars, defending their new country's new frontier. But border routes still run deep and border names have been carried further than their ancestors could have imagined. When man first set foot in the moon, it was an Armstrong who led the charge and he carried a piece of his family tartan with them.